Nicola Badalana from PixieHill.com and today I'd like to show you how to make this rustic spoon star or if you're magical like me a kitchen witch pentagram. You'll need five wooden spoons of equal size. I'm using a blade to gently carve the edges of the spoons. Work with a sharp tool and always cut away from yourself. Notice the band-aid on my finger? I know what I'm talking about and I want you to be safe so please be careful. This step is completely optional but I think it gives a lovely old almost handmade quality to the spoons and you don't have to go too crazy with the whittling to give a rustic impression. Put a dab of hot glue on the handle of one of the spoons and place the back of another spoon on top. Another spoon, another dab of hot glue. For each spoon, place the glue on the handle and the bowl or head of the spoon on top. Play around with the placement before assembly to get an idea of how it will fit together. The last spoon will likely not lay flat and there will be a gap between the underlying handles. Don't worry about that. The star will likely be a little wonky at this point, but there should be a bit of wiggle so you can even things out. Adjust and hot glue the areas that overlap to create an even star shape. Take some lengths of twine and wrap around the five overlapped areas. Tie a firm knot on the back. And while the pentagram is a symbol of perfect balance of air, fire, earth, water, and spirit, don't worry too much about absolute perfection in your star. It's your intent that matters most here, and I want you to feel good and proud about your project. I left the overlap with the biggest gap for last, and was able to close that gap completely by binding the area tightly with the twine. A few drops of instant glue was added directly to the knots, and now I'm trimming the excess from the ends without worry that they may come undone. Cover the entire thing with acrylic paint. I've significantly watered down some earthy brown. Applying as a wash gives a soft and weathered look. If you have any areas with hot glue peeking out, you'll want to clean those spots up beforehand as it will prevent the paint from staining the wood. When you think you've covered the whole thing, pick it up, move it around, and look at every angle so that you can cover all the bits that you may have missed. Finally, grab some moss and flowers and leaves and get to decorating. If you're working some magic into your piece, consider the magical properties of the colors that you are using. You might use some dried herbs and flowers in place of decorative paper ones. Add some charms or even whisper your intent as you work. I'm finishing the piece off with a bow of twine and attaching a loop of string for hanging around the top.
so stir up some magic or just make something pretty to hang in your kitchen. If you do make this project, please, please tag me and show it off to the world. I love seeing your work and the shares are encouraging and so appreciated. Big, fat, magical love from me to you.